doing this show is that I really don't have to pressurise, well, I don't have to pressurise many people to do things. An awful lot of you come forward and actually volunteer to do something for the evening. Yeah, we've got another volunteer now, uh, and that's John. No. Uh, <laughs> Advent wind begins to stir with sea-like sounds in our Scotch fir. It's dark at breakfast, dark at tea, and in between we only see clouds hurrying across the sky, and rain-wet roads the wind blows dry, and branches bending to the gale against great skies, all silver, pale. The world seems travelling into space and travelling at a faster pace than in the leisured summer weather when we and it sit out together. For now we feel the world spin round on some momentous journey bound. Journey to what? To whom? To where? The advent bells call out Prepare! Your world is journeying to the birth of God made man for us on earth. And how, in fact, do we prepare the great day that waits for us there for the 25th day of December, the birth of Christ? For some it means an interchange of hunting scenes on coloured cards. And I remember last year I sent out 20 yards, laid end to end of Christmas cards, to people that I scarcely know. They'd sent a card to me, and so I had to send one back. Oh dear, is this a form of Christmas cheer? Or is it, which is less surprising, my pride gone in? For advertising, the only cards that really count are that extremely small amount from real friends who keep in touch and are not rich but love us much. Some ways indeed are very odd by which we hail the birth of God. We raise the price of things in shops we give plain boxes, fancy tops, and lines which traders cannot sell, thus parceled, go extremely well. We dole out bribes we call a present to those to whom we must be pleasant for business reasons. Our defences, these bribes are charged against expenses and bring relief in income tax. Enough of these unworthy cracks. The time draws near the birth of Christ, a present that cannot be priced, given two thousand years ago. Yet if God had not given so, he still would be a distant stranger, and not the baby in the manger. 